really quick, I'm going to go ahead and, and get you guys' uh, messages out to you for the month of December. Thank you all for subscribing to my channel. If you would like to book your very own personal reading, that information will come across the screen at some point during this video. Um, and if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. These messages are very general. They won't resonate with every single Sagittarius. But if it does seem to resonate, great. Make sure you leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what's going on. I'll be, you know, I'll be wanting to know what's going on. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. And don't forget to click the bell and the notifications to subscribe, okay? So, these energies can be vice versa as well. So, this could be you or your partner. What messages are there for Sagittarius? Okay, so we have intuition and new beginnings. Intuitively, you want something, you want to take a leap of faith, you want to take some type of risk. Like your intuition is telling you to go for it. Your intuition is telling you to do it. Try it. Give me one more card for Sagittarius. Thank you. All right. We have heartbreak, heartache, and loss. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we have material and spiritual prosperity. All right. So this is about give and take. Okay. This is about gifts and um, someone gifting you. Um, you know, you're getting and receiving. Okay. You're giving and receiving. All right. So intuitively, I feel like your intuition is telling you to take some type of risk, but I feel like you're afraid that you're going to get your heart broke or you're going to, you're afraid of it falling apart. Okay. So we have the heart ache and loss card. So I feel like intuitively, like you're telling yourself, I'm going to do this. I want to do this. This is what I want to do. But if I take this risk, am I going to get my heart broken if I do this? Am I going to regret that I did it? Am I going to look back at the situation like, dang, I didn't make the right decision? All right, so we're going to put these cards to the side. And we're going to take a look into the tarot, okay? So let's see what message is there for Sagittarius for December. What message is there for Sagittarius? Ooh, got a jumper. We got the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is energy. What message is there for Sagittarius? What message is there for Sagittarius? What message is there for Sagittarius? We have the Sun card, Leo's energy. We also have the Knight of Wands, which is you guys' this energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But nonetheless, I'm picking up very flighty energy. Okay, I'm picking up very running back and forth all over the place. Very irrational movements, thoughts, communication okay let's pass energy we have the ace of swords communication more communication lots few few swords here so libra gemini aquarius is energy but there is you know communication truth what's crown in this situation I am sensing like the truth being revealed or you having a, a aha moment or you're get, gaining some type of clarity on something. Okay. And then we have the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and the Lovers. All right. So at the bottom of the deck... We have the Seven of Cups and the Five of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Off the bat, I feel like you got your eye open for um, competition or there's just a lot of people here. Okay, we got the Five of Swords and the Seven of Cups. 
there's a lot of different energies here and i'm sensing confusion maybe you're trying to stay you know not trying to cause any confusion maybe you're trying to block confusion out but i'm most definitely sensing that there is a lot of confusion around you okay there's a lot going on around you it's what i'm most definitely picking up on immediately okay so for knight of swords this is very young energy very kind of reckless type energy but nonetheless this is um <clears throat> excuse me this is running back and running for back and forth okay so this is here then there here and there here and there and you also have that energy here with the knight of wands both of those energies are knights okay so it could be very kind of like young type energy someone could be being behaving very immaturely okay this could be you or someone else um but we have the King of Swords crowning that, which is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius's energy. So it's like a young energy and then an older energy. So I'm king, getting like a father and a son or a mother and a daughter. Don't mind the kings. It could just be we're going by energy. So I'm getting like young energy and more um, mentally stronger type energy. With that sun card there being a challenge the sun card is, I feel, I'm sensing like someone here is just like playing around someone is playing around maybe you think someone is playing around having fun maybe it's you why is the sun card here the magician What's the Knight of Swords here? I feel like you're trying to make someone happy that is immature. Knight of Swords. The Justice card. Libra's energy. Okay, someone here needs to... <laughs> okay. Maybe this is you guys' energy, Okay. But someone most definitely needs to balance themselves out. Someone here is kind of reckless in the way they communicate, in the way that they handle things. Um, and it's because you're possibly trying to make someone happy. That is very like a player. Why is the Knight of Wands here? It's like you're running all over the place trying to make somebody happy. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Ooh. Okay, seven of pentacles and the moon. I got the five of pentacles and the king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But there could be some type of financial thing here. There could be a lack of resources. So something could be telling you not to take a, this risk. Okay. Maybe you are waiting to see how someone is going to respond to something. You're waiting to see if something's going to be worth it. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is communication. This is the truth being revealed. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay, Four of Swords. You've been communicating with your friends, okay? Maybe you're talking to your friends. We got the Three of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. Maybe there's like a social circle that, you know, 
you discuss things with. Thinking of something to say, okay? Why is the Four of Swords here? The Strength card. All right, so you're trying to find the courage to say something, but I feel like you kind of were, like, afraid to say it. Because <clears throat> you feel like this person may get reckless, <laughs> may get kind of reckless with you or, the, or offended. Why is the King of Swords here? Ace of Cups. All right. So you want to speak your mind. You want to speak your truth. You want to tell exactly how it is that you feel. I feel like there could most definitely be like financial issues going on here with the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Maybe you don't feel as self-sufficient. Okay. You may feel like you don't have everything together or your ducks in a row at this moment. So I feel like you're wanting to tell this person how you feel. Why is the lover's card here? Yeah. The two of swords. Wow. You aren't sure. We got the emperor here at the bottom of the deck. The father card. Okay, someone possibly is stubborn or very controlling. Okay, maybe you're not sure. You know, I feel like there's a decision that you feel like you need to make. But you, this person kind of leaves you unsure. Okay, but you're not sure if this person has other options or what this person has going on. Okay, why is the two of swords here? Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy. But this person could be like a diva or, you know, someone who is very money-driven or focuses on the material things in life. Or you could be dealing with the earth sign because we have the five of pentacles here. Okay, so I feel like, like when they don't get what they want or they don't have enough, then they possibly respond to you um, kind of like in a harsh way. Yeah, I feel like there's this codependent energy here someone is codependent upon you or you upon them and i feel like there's going to be some type of decision that you feel like you need to make okay make the effort we have you deserve love and then we have passion okay so i feel like you possibly want this person to put in more effort um and you feel like you deserve to have some type of intimate moment with this person um, I'm picking up as well, like, somebody could, like, be, you could be giving some, someone things or, you know, it, like, there's this energy of, I'm helping you, I'm giving this to you, I'm doing the best that I can, um, I want you to put forth some more effort because I know what it is that I deserve, um, and I, I deserve to, you know, have a lot more of your time, a lot more of your attention is what I'm picking up, Okay. All right, so if these messages are resonating with you, great. Make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below. If you would like to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information will be in the drop box below as well, okay? So until next time, my loves, ciao for now.